everyone, welcome back to the attic. I'm Nicole. This week we did the map of Dreamland from Disenchantment on Netflix. Our friend Joya over at Royally Butchered on Instagram created a version of the map that I saw and really wanted to dive right into. We've done a lot of different maps along the way that you guys have seen before, but this one we wanted to do a little bit differently. Uh, I wanted to add some sort of additional effect that we haven't done before. Uh, and to do that, we decided to try some addressable LED lights within the acrylic panel on this piece. I think it adds a lot of depth to it and something that we have not tried before yet. We took the original high resolution image of Royally Butchered's map and parted it out into different layers. Each layer was then sent to the Glowforge. We made sure to engrave the acrylic panel backwards. Engraving the acrylic panel backwards will allow for a smooth finish later when painted. This project was mostly made with MDF, veneers, birch plywood, and a small amount on walnut for a darker wood effect. We start by making the space for the resin to pool into. Using the scraps as a guide, we are able to place the island in the correct place. We used Pro Marine tabletop epoxy resin and black diamond pigment powder for the water. While the resin was curing, Nicole painted the acrylic panel with some acrylic paint and removed the mask when dry. Engraving in reverse allows for a cleaner surface when flipped. After the resin was cured, we glued the acrylic panel down and started putting in the land masses. Once everything was dried, Nicole finished painting the entire map.
Arduino was used as the driver for the individually addressable LEDs. Holy shit. Look how cool that's gonna look. This is just like random stuff. Oh, ballsack. Right. So you can see how, even though, yeah, with that there, it's still gonna add to it. It won't be that bright, we'll make it lighter on. But like, you can see how you can have two different color zones. Yeah. I wrote a simple program using the fast LED library to create the lighting design we wanted. To create the frame, I took some measurements of the components, used an online box generator to create the basic shape, then altered it slightly and cut it out with the Glowforge. CA glue was enough to hold it all together. A subtle blue to white shift was all we needed for most of the LEDs, but near the volcano an orange to red was used. Fortunately, the measurements were correct and everything fit as expected. Thanks again to Royally Butchered for the amazing map design. Without it, this project really could never have happened. <laughs>